Good morning, everyone, and welcome to today's uh, Invest in Suffolk Ambassadors Business Support Webinar. Um, it's, uh, it's very exciting that so many uh, of us have come together today, both Invest in Suffolk Ambassadors and other senior business leaders across the county. Good morning, everyone. Uh, despite not being able to offer the usual brunch, I'm really pleased to see such an impressive number of you zooming in. Uh, this is a testament not only to our excellent speakers, but also how as a business community, we've innovated quickly to come together. We've proven ourselves to be very adept when we think when we have to think on our feet and do something differently. Um, I've been astounded as to how agile businesses have been through this process. As business owners and, and, and managers who will be mainly on this Zoom call, um, we've got to think about looking after ourselves as much as supporting our teams. But we need to understand firstly what that means for us, but also understand that our staff may be feeling things in a, in a very different way from us. And that actually the collective morale of our organisation is also important at this difficult time. So we've been doing some surveys um, across the residents in Suffolk and we've found that sleep has been massively impacted for many people. I'd like to ask the panel members initially, do a quick round robin, um, what one thing from each of your disciplines should businesses have in place before they start implementing whatever their lockdown easing programme might be? Um, I would say um, in that planning process, don't underestimate the importance of communication, engagement and support for um, your employees. Follow the guidance and do the COVID-19 risk assessment. Our survey um, has shown actually that um, under 25s are uh, more likely to be feeling um, emotionally unwell much more than any other any other group. So I think we all um, as a community of Suffolk need to keep talking about the fact that young people are being disproportionately affected. Planning really is um, is the key to everything. Um, you know making sure that particularly from a finance perspective anyway that you're you know you've you have planned your cash flow you know exactly where your money's going um and that it is the most sensible use of that money uh, particularly at a time when you know it can be quite difficult although I, you know i'm a huge fan of the the sentiments of the uh, mental health and all the changes that you know positive changes that have come out of uh, the pandemic with people you know exercising more spending more time with their families etc and although you know, it's had a negative impact on a lot of people's mental health. There are some real, real positives that have come out of it. And I do hope that businesses sort of take that on board and keep their employees happy and, and sort of utilise that ongoing. Thank you to everybody. The ambassadors that have joined this meeting uh, and a personal thank to all the speakers on the panel. I think it's obvious from what all the panel members have said that we can only do this if we work together. The council, uh, well, obviously they'll continue to deliver our key services, um, but we can't do this on our own. Uh, we believe very strongly that to come out of this uh, pandemic, you know, we need people's input and steer to understand the challenges they're facing. So again, just to say thank you very much to everybody involved. So in short, thank you all very much indeed. I wish you um, a safe and productive remainder of the working day and we look forward to catching up with you at the next Invest in Suffolk Ambassadors webinar later in the year. Thank you and goodbye.